This is your reporter, Ralphie May, and I'm about to go across the border into Canada. Yeah, no man's zone. I've dressed Canadian as I can. I love beer. I, uh, I'm wearing plaid. I got the red and black lumberjack. Wish I had the hat to match. But we're doing this to show how these dirty snowback and Canadians, all right, dirty snowbacks, are taking all of our money north and leaving us with their goddamn beaver money. We're at the border of Canada and America. Trust me, you think this view looks great? You should try it from the other side when you're looking at America. Kicks ass. Look at all these dirty Canadians going north. All these trucks full, full of quarters. U.S. American quarters. Now you're going, why quarters? Well, why do they make their quarter look just like ours? Why is there beaver money? Just like ours. You know why? Because they know it's only worth 17 cents a piece. That's an eight cent difference per quarter. You go, Ralphie, that's not much. Yeah, over the course of the dollar, it's a 32% drop in the value of the dollar. We're going to go get our goddamn money back. USA! Look at that. There's hardly any wind blowing. It's just the sucking of our money north. These dirty snowbacks. You worried about Mexicans raping? These guys are raping our economy. <laughs> Let's get in. Let's go across the border. We're crossing the border right now. Everybody just look forward. Try to act Canadian. Say a boot and a a lot. We're just normal goddamn Canadians. We look like every, all these other snowbacks. Yeah, we're crossing the border. Things might get hairy. I think there's a six-year-old driving that car. They do weird stuff like that in Canada. They let babies work for free and drive and stuff like that. Yeah. They tell you the perks. You know, they go, hey, we get free health care. They don't tell you, that, by the way, that gas is $27 a liter. These dirty snowbacks coming over to get our cheap gas, too. Snowback and sons of bitches. So how far are we from uh, the everything? They don't know where we are because they just changed from miles to kilometers. Who knows? They do this. They do this to purely confuse us all. Everything's metric. Yeah, Canadians. Gross. Get with it, son. They're in their metrics. Trust me, the only metrics I know is there's 28.4 grams in an ounce, you know? And that's thanks to weed, not education. These dirty Canadians. Everything's in kilometers. We were just 36 miles away from Vancouver. Now we're 50 kilometers away. I'm telling you, this exchange rate is fucked up. We're going to go in and find out if there's any trust in Canada at Canadian Trust. Let's do it. What's the value of a uh, Canadian quarter now? Is it 18 cents U.S.? Uh, so uh, from, like a, a, from a, a currency standpoint, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when we take coin, uh -huh. we're not actually, we're taking it at Canadian par. So if, if people bring uh, U.S. coin, we tell them that we can take it, but it would be just at par. At, at, Can at so, Canadian par. So Whoa, over the course of a dollar, like if they have four quarters, Instead of bringing a dollar and giving them a dollar thirty. Oh, okay. okay. All right. All sure. Right. Thank sure. You, Thank you, Bar. Okay. Appreciate Thank it. you. Thank you very much. Thank no you. problem. Wow. My mind's just blown. Even, even at Canada Trust, they are screwing their customers. It's bigger than I thought. Let's go get our money back. Look at them. 
screwing their own people, apparently. They take a U.S. quarter, and they even stiff the Canadians. That means this is industrial. It means that the government's behind it. Banks are behind it. All oh, just like in the U.S. Banks. Too big to fail, but not big enough to steal. Sons of bitches. We've now proven it's, it's, a, it's a bank conspiracy with the government. Do you, you, know, you know who bankers like hanging out with? Other bankers. You know the same people who fucked us on Wall Street? Bankers. I'm just saying.